All right, in this video we're going to talk about one type of reaction that produces NADPH. All right, now in humans there are two main reactions that produce NADPH. Um, one of them is a whole pathway, it's termed the pentose phosphate pathway. And remember we have an oxidative pentose phosphate pathway that actually produces um, a lot of the NADPH that we use. There's another reaction called malic enzyme, kind of a weird name, but malic enzyme takes malate from the TCA cycle and is going to perform an oxidative decarboxylation to pyruvate, and notice we get the CO2 off of that. But in the process, because it's an oxidative decarboxylation, we actually get an NADPH out of it. Okay, so in other words, we're taking malate out of the TCA cycle and oxidatively decarboxylating it to form NADPH. Okay? And also that pyruvate, remember, can then go and be oxidized again by pyruvate dehydrogenase, go into the TCA cycle and so on and so forth and get more energy out of it. This is just a way to get some of the energy off in the form of NADPH. And additionally, this enzyme, what you'll see is mechanistically identical to another TCA cycle enzyme called isocitrate dehydrogenase, which also is performing an oxidative decarboxylation. And what we're going to find, hopefully, and the reason I introduced this enzyme is because NADPH is required in a large amount in a lot of biosynthetic pathways, particularly amino acid and nucleotide biosynthesis, which are very uh, closely related in a lot of ways. And it turns out we're going to need a lot of NADPH. So this enzyme, malic enzyme, and uh, the pentose phosphate pathway are going to provide most of that NADPH. Okay, but this is going to be a, a really critical source because to run the pentose phosphate pathway you have to take glucose out of glycolysis. Okay, and you don't want to do that too much, although it does happen um, to a large extent. Uh, this is another way to produce NADPH that doesn't require um, necessarily taking the glucose out of glycolysis. So that's why we have enzymes like this. Okay, so I just wanted to bring that up, that that's going to uh, ultimately be a major source of NADPH. And watch the pathways that we're going to be doing. You'll hopefully see quite a bit of NADPH that's used. Um, we're also going to see it in some later pathways in nucleotide synthesis. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like it and subscribe for future videos and notifications. In the next video, we're going to go over folate, which is another uh, B vitamin turned vitamin B9. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.